Damon here with Complete Media. Um, right now, what I'm doing, I'm setting up for Titan FC 70. Uh, for our entrance, what we're doing is, are the Freedom Sticks. There come four in a pack. So far, I've set up eight. Uh, I have 24 total, so that means I have another 16 to set up. So I just wanted to show you these. I'll show you how, every, how I have everything set up. And what I have is a little bit of an issue. Seems that one or two of the Freedom Sticks seem to be out of sync. I use them DMX using the D5 from Chave, and they seem to be out of sync. So I'm gonna go ahead and set those up, show you exactly what I'm talking about. I've already talked uh, to Chave, and they said to send him a video. So I'm working on this video right now. I'm gonna send it over to him, uh, see exactly what's going on. Uh, one, is, one of the things he mentioned was it might be a different version. So, so far of the eight that I've turned on, they're all version 2.0. Uh, so they should all be doing the exact same pattern, but one seems to be out of sync. Again, you'll see that a little bit uh, in a little bit. Uh, go ahead and set up the remaining 16 and uh, we'll go from there. We got the base plates right here. All right, I like to sit down and show my work as I'm talking. All right, so what I did is I set up one side. We have 12 on each side for two sides, total of 24. That's how basic math works. Um, anyway, I uh, got everything set up on this side. I'm gonna spare you, uh, making you wait to watch me set up side number two. So we'll just fast forward over there. The one thing I did wanna show you, since I have so many fixtures, uh, what you're gonna see are numbers on each one of them. And that it corresponds with the DMX that I'm using for each one of the lights so that I know exactly what each light is supposed to be doing without having to push it. Cause as you see, you have to cycle through here to actually figure out what your DMX channel is instead of just, you know, still haven't got to it yet. A channel and enter, then it shows my DMX channel, but it's already listed up here. So it's just a quick reference, and I did that. Those are my little uh, one cent stickers that I put on each one, and it just makes it so much better and easier for me to know exactly where the fixtures are supposed to be in each one. All right, so we have the Freedom Sticks all set up, got all 12 to, um, all 24, two on each side, ready to go. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna show you my Show Express. I'm gonna show you how I'm connecting to my iPad. All right, so here we go. All right, so you can see we have our iPad here, as well as my, uh, this is just a PC, uh, Levano or Levano, however you wanna say it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my laptop to a Wi-Fi network. So I'm just gonna go into, right now I'm connected to E2A5, that's one of the networks that I'm already connected to. And then I'm going to go into my iPad, and as you'll see, we are, or we should be, connected to the same Wi-Fi network right there, E2A5. And then, so I'm just gonna shut this down, or not shut it down, just minimize it, and I'm going to open up my uh, live on Show Express, and you'll see this screen pop up. There we go. And um, that's the profile that I've already set up. I'm going to go to edit. And what it's going to pull up, it's going to pull up an IP address as well as a port number. The port number should always be 7348 unless something crazy happens. That's just kind of the default for Chave. And when I go into my um, preferences on Show Express, so I have Show Express, go up to the top here and file, go down to preferences, and then it's going to open up. You can see main. MIDI, network, DMX universe, hardware, GPS. We want the network. When the network opens up, it's gonna show this IP address. Don't worry about that one. The one you're concerned about is the ghosted one here at the bottom. That's the one that's going to connect your live on your iPad or your phone to uh, Show Express. So it's 10.205.121.112. That's what we wanna have. And as you can see, the uh, port right there, 7348 is the same one that I just mentioned. So those coincide and obviously yours will be different on your computer. I'm gonna hit connect. And what's going to happen is it's going to show 
should show the live buttons that I've had set up. Now the way to make it so that it views on live is you're going to go, and I have a lot of buttons here, but you're going to go into the, um, the menu of each one of your buttons. And right here at the bottom where it says uh, view on external application, this is the only way that it will show on your iPad. So as you see on my iPad here, I have, uh, it says ring intercontinental, red, blue, Cobb, Titan, uh, door, sparks, freedom sticks, uh, and then freedom stick patterns. Uh, then we go to button two and that's the other buttons that I've created for my iPad. So as you'll see on here, when we go to page two, the buttons are gonna be different because you can dictate what the buttons look like on your live versus what they look like on your PC. So we're gonna take this over because the whole point of this video is to show you um, my freedom sticks are out of sync. So I'm gonna take my live over to my iPad over to my freedom sticks and we're gonna see this uh, out of sync pattern that I mentioned. All right, I believe I have all my sticks in view. So I'm going to go into my iPad. But as you can see right here, as I mentioned before, my freedom stick patterns and my freedom sticks. So if I click, uh, let's just go green. So everything should turn green. You can see all of the freedom sticks turn green. Kind of dope in my personal humble opinion. Reminds me of some old school, take that, take that. Throw your rollies in the sky, wave them side to side. Anyway, as we see the green here, I'm gonna get rid of the green and I'm gonna to go to one of the internal patterns. I could set up names for it. I personally like yo-yo. And so we'll see all of them should do the exact same pattern at the exact same time. Let's see how long that lasts. So as you can see, one is going faster than the others. Two are going faster than the others, you see them? I'll point them out here in a second, but you can see all of them are going the same speed except for one of them. So we stop it, start over. They start at the same time. Now we'll do this one. So you can see the first one on this side and the second one on the opposite side are the ones that are out of sync. We'll get closer now. So you can see this bad boy here. Actually, let me go back so you can actually see it. So here we go. You can actually see it a little bit better. See it? They're all in sync except for the first one. Where it's way out of sync. That's blue now, and that's the green. Okay? And then we go to this side, and we have the exact same thing. You can see which one's out of sync. Now, a little out of sync, I can get with, but to be this far, it's just crazy. And because I labeled the freedom sticks, I know exactly which ones are out of sync because they're numbers. So number 34 on the left side and number 42 on the right side are the ones that are out of sync. So we're gonna get a hold of Chave and see if we can get that remedied. What I wanna take you through now is the experience that we want the audience to have as they come through here um, and watch some of the fights. Uh, for me, the fights are, as far as sound and lighting, are pretty uneventful. We just keep the lights on we just put them on 75 for now. So we just keep the lights, those are ring lights. So those are what we normally keep them on for the entire fight. And then the, usually the magic happens during um, the fighter entrance, as well as uh, between rounds, where we're able to play music and do some of the lights. So what I wanna do is I wanna walk you through what the audience sees when a fighter comes out. I wish Chave would come up with a, a solution for this, but on my computer they have hotkeys where you can push one button and have a multitude of scenes actually happen. But 
on the iPad, you can only do them one at a time. Normally this would happen all at once, but we'll just go ahead and get this experience from, uh, you know, for the, the fighter walk-ins. So what you have are the movers kind of doing their thing for the red corner, and then the thing that I added right here are the freedom sticks uh, doing a strobe as they walk through. And the one thing I didn't do was I did not do any uh, gobo patterns, so we just added the gobo patterns now. Uh, so again, this is the experience, and then when the actual fighters get to position, what will happen, actually do it, I'll be a fighter in position. It's the first time I've ever done this, so we'll see how this works. So as the fighter is making his way up here, he sees, of course, the freedom sticks right there. We see the movers doing their thing. His music will be playing. We don't have that yet. He's walking up the steps. Here, you got the geyser in the back, two geysers in the front. As soon as he makes his way up to the geyser, go ahead and put this down here, boom. That's what he gets hit with. Front to back, boom, he walks through the smoke, down the ramp, and then once he gets past the smoke, I go ahead and turn on my two Legos right there so we can see him as he walks down. When he gets to this spot about here, Boom, hit him with the cob on the left, which you see right there. Then he gets a little closer, bam, hit him with the cob on the right. And so that way we can see, there's the cob on the right. You can see right above that is the Lico. Cob on the left, above that is the Lico. We got the movers up there. And then he gets his pat down right here. And as he walks into the cage, lights come on, bam. Lights are on. That's how we do our thing. All of, sorry, go ahead and set up all the moving heads. Boom, 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 boom. And so, here's what the fighter sees as he's walking down. Comes up here, walks up to, sorry, let me go ahead. So as the fighter is making his way up here, he sees, of course, the freedom sticks right there. We see the movers doing their thing. His music will be playing. We don't have that yet. He's walking up the steps here. You got the geyser in the back, two geysers in the front. As soon as he makes his way up to the geyser, go ahead and put this down here, boom. That's what he gets hit with. Front to back, boom, he walks through the smoke, down the ramp, and then once he gets past the smoke, I go ahead and turn on my two Legos right there so we can see him as he walks down. When he gets to this spot about here, boom, hit him with the cob on the left, which you see right there, and he gets a little closer, bam, hit him with the cob on the right. And so that way we can see, there's the cob on the right. You can see right above that is the Lico, cob on the left, above that is the Lico, we got the movers up there. And then he gets his pat down right here. And as he walks into the cage, lights come on, bam. Lights are on. That's how we do our thing. With it, whole team nice, whole team fire on the mic. Tell him we live with it, whole team nice, whole team fire on the mic. Tell him we live with it, whole team nice, whole team fire on the mic. Tell him we live with it, whole team nice, whole team fire on the mic. Tell him we live. Rock and rock and rock and roll, you know that metal fire. That metal fire, I bring that fire. Rock and rock and roll, my hands on fire. And everywhere we go, you know So we even if they never get it, I'm dope, I know My flow propane, cause I'm bringing them flames insane How I take it to the boiling point, cause I'm lit If I get any hotter than the summer, might seem cold Froze, I pull for the picture, they know I'm a pro They know that I'm out of my mind, keep running like I'm losing the time Keep ticking, never getting behind, quick with it, kinda with it when I rhyme though They know so hard I go, part in the temperature, part in the flow You were yeah. dealing with a man on fire <laughs> Excuse my tire I'm so inspired by these flames as my attire Something like a human torch better for the forces I'm coming through the wire You wanna come through like you's a rider You say you buy that action but you not I make my whole squad go higher Cause when I come around I bring that fire Tell them we lit 